Well, cooking during the holidays is anything but relaxing. And this season poses its own unique challenges with staple items either in short supply or much more expensive. So we've enlisted a little help from Chef Natasha. Natasha caters personal events for celebrities and people just looking to add that special touch to their event. And she says to have a fabulous holiday dinner, you don't need to reinvent the chicken. Welcome, Chef Natasha. We are so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so you say we don't have to reinvent the chicken, but so many of us are used to having like our grandmother's turkey or that stuffing, that those things that we're used used to having every year, but because we can't have them this year, you say we don't necessarily need them? No, not okay. at all. I always say that you can take the traditional and use non-traditional ingredients to still give you that nostalgia and still, basically, as long as you cook with love, it'll get you there. Oh, I love that! <laughs> I'm gonna steal that! Okay, so what do we have here? So right now, we started with a bruschetta, mm -hmm. roasted tomatoes with a little mozzarella, mm -hmm. and you can always also make this a vegan option. Okay, so I see here, you didn't put the mozzarella on this one. This is the vegan option. Yes. How hard is this to make? Not hard at all. It is a three-step process. <laughs> you just make the pesto, uh, or you can purchase it, mm -hmm. and roast the tomatoes, mm. add the mozzarella if you like, mm. and then fresh basil just helps to brighten up the plate, and it gives a nice aroma to mm. your table. It does. It'll, like, it'll make your whole house smell good. This Absolutely. is really good. I love it. <laughs> Thank so, you. I see that you have like both vegetarian options as well as you have some non-vegetarian options. Absolutely. What else? I think that you should also always have a vegan vegetarian option as far as meat options are concerned because nowadays everyone is on a different diet or different res diet restrictions mm. and you also always try to accommodate as much as possible. Mm. But the other good thing is, is that it doesn't break the budget to have vegan options because they are the most affordable out there. Mm. And the, the, the next thing that I have is an arugula, arugula salad with um, winter squash. So you have the acorn and butternut squash with roasted um, Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. pomegranate seeds, and pumpkin seeds with a light dressing on the arugula. So that actually helps to just brighten and cut any fat that you might have in certain dishes. Now that looks complicated, because the thing is, like, I see things like that, and I'm like, I'm gonna make that, and then I get home, it looks nothing like it's that. It's so easy, though, <laughs> it's so easy. You just dress some arugula, and you roast the um, vegetables, mm -hmm. and then you just layer it all on top of each other, and you're good to go. Awesome, now this looks really, really good. So another vegan option is a vegan polenta with roasted tomatoes, fresh basil, and every guest will enjoy this. Absolutely, and what I like is that they don't necessarily know they're eating vegan because it's just so good. And it's a non-traditional add to your menu again, just Absolutely. like your whole decor here. Yes. <laughs> we try to stick with non-traditional things because nowadays, if you can't find it, pivot, reinvent, and just enjoy your holiday. Now this looks really good. So for the meat eaters at your, your dinner, we have a beef wrapped in bacon meatloaf. Yes. So we do mini rolls of that, and then you bake it and then slice it on the bias. And you make a nice presentation over basmati rice with a pickled cabbage. And I did a pomegranate glaze for a little sweetness. So it's almost barbecue-esque, but it's not. <laughs> You're so fancy. So I know like you cater for celebrities. Yeah. Is this kind of like something a spread that we would see there or is this for everyday people? So it can be a, a little bit more on the high end, but it, you can also translate this to your everyday holiday table. Okay. Because of the ingredients, because you can find them locally, this can all be done. Last item. So what I have here is a four cheese polenta mm -hmm. with a lamb bolognese. So this is your high end yes. with some shaved parm. And it, this takes the longest to cook. So if you were planning your dinner, you cook everything ahead of time. But this, you can leave on the stove to simmer for an hour or two and fragrance the whole house. Oh, it's gosh. It's really good. And then you always say, leave your guests wanting more. So you give them parting gifts. <laughs> Absolutely. So my parting gift, which every good hostess should always have, is something sweet, something savory. But I chose sweet today, and we did a salted caramel pecan chocolate oh, bark. <laughs> and <laughs> so what you do, you put them in cute little packages, mm -hmm. and then you just hand them out at the end of your dinner to your guests. And for me, uh, something that is edible is always a great takeaway. Oh, gosh. And this is... <laughs> This would definitely make everybody go, I'm going back to Regina's house. Absolutely. Everything tastes so amazing. Thank you so Thank much, you. Chef Natasha. And right now, you're currently moving to Miami, but Correct. you cater everywhere. Everywhere. 
long as the client, wherever the client needs me, I will go. Awesome, thank you so much. And if you would like to try any of these dishes um, at home or get in contact with Chef Natasha, head to our website. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.